Up next, what is an export limiter? Hi, I'm David Green from Tejo, the place where Australians have time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. Export limiting simply limits the amount of power you can send back to the grid. This is to place some limitations on individually owned solar systems, otherwise everyone would get outrageous amounts of solar and flood the grid. Export limiting only limits the amount of power your solar system is sending back to the grid, not what you can consume. The term export limit sounds bad. We get it. But when a system is sized correctly, it isn't a big deal at all. Across Australia, export limiting is determined by your distributor, the people who put up the poles and wires. So how do you know if you need an export limiter? Now there are two key considerations when working out if you need an export limiter. Consideration number one, if you are single or three phase power. Consideration number two, a guideline set by your distributor. Common practice across electricity distributors is to allow five kilowatts of inverted capacity per phase without any limitation. So if you're in a single phase home, you can have five kilowatts of inverted capacity and 6.6 .6 kilowatts of solar. If you want to learn more about why you can have more solar than inverted capacity, check out our video on 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar systems. If you're in a three phase home, you can generally then install 15 kilowatts of inverted capacity and 19.8 kilowatts of solar without any export limitation. Now, not all distributors follow the same rules. As an example, Osgrid, who covers Metro Sydney, the Central Coast and Newcastle, allow a home to have up to 10 kilowatts of capacity per phase. The only time we see export limitation as having a negative outcome is when you have a large solar system installed with only low consumption. Like I said, export limiting is only limiting the amount of power that you can send to the grid. You can still consume all of the solar you're generating from your system. An overlooked benefit or byproduct of installing an export limiter is the increased monitoring. The basic monitoring you have access to once your solar system is installed without an export limiter will show you the generation of your solar system, not much else. When adding an export limiter, also commonly referred to as a smart meter or device, you will then have greater visibility on other aspects such as what your home is consuming from the grid, what is being sold back to the grid and how much you are consuming from your solar. That was everything you need to know about export limiters. If you're considering installing solar or a battery on your home or business, give us a call at 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.tayho.com.au. I'm David Green from Tayho. Thanks for watching.